how are you doing? Welcome to my channel. My name is Bobby. I am the Emperor of the Universe. And I'm going to give you a tip on being the boss and what it means to be the boss and how to conduct yourself as the boss. <clears throat> when you have the boss energy, baby, you can't go wrong. And I know it's important to strut that stuff when you go out. When, usually when you're the boss, you tend to be alone. It's Trust me, when you become the emperor or the empress of your universe, finding an equal is a tough, tough thing. Truly. So you might have to eat alone for a minute. I'm going to give you some tips on eating alone as the boss. How to do it correctly. In my experience as the boss, eating alone, one thing I'd always make sure of is depending on how big the place is, always get a good table. Don't settle for anything less. Period. You're the empress or the emperor. Remember that shit. Okay? Don't settle for a door next to the bathroom or one next to the swinging door in the kitchen. Nah. -uh. If that's what they're giving you, you say, I'll wait. Can I get a booth? Another thing, I love booths. I always take a booth. If, they, if I come in and they say one, they're like, okay, we'll just throw this guy in the fucking corner, right? Not happening. Nobody puts baby in the corner. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to shine. And if I have to shine in the middle of the room, I'll shine in the middle of the fucking room. But I love a booth, baby. Gives you a little more mystery from what ambiance. Point two. Location, location, location. That's important. So, but point two is simple. Your waiter or waitress is going to be your contact for the night. Your social interaction. So first of all, from the get-go, you shower them with praise you want them to be happy that you're there sitting alone a lot of times waiter and waitresses they tend to cons be concerned about the lone person because that's a less of a tip less people eating you see what i'm saying so that for them a lot of times it's a, it's a drain on their energy because the bigger the table they're serving the more money they make which is why i always say tip your waitress waiters and waitresses generously I always do 20% or more, 25. If I'm paying for a $30 ticket, $40 ticket, they're, they're getting 15 bucks, 20 bucks, don't matter. <clears throat> and this is when I can't afford it. You just don't eat out if you can't afford it. Stay home and eat a sandwich. Don't waste people's times like that, right? So anyways, your interaction is with your waiter or waitress. So you want that to be a positive, uplifting experience. You get them talking. You talk about the menu. It's really simple. You could either do this, I'll take the hamburger, fries, and a Coke. And that's your interaction, they take off, that's fine. But that's not exactly dazzling, is it? That's not exactly boss energy, right? You take a minute, you're looking at the menu, they come up, they say you got a menu, you're like, no, well, what do you think? You start interacting, you start engaging. You know, what, what's their favorite thing on the menu? What would they recommend? Little that, little this, you get it, you get it light, you get it fluffy. You get them to laugh for a second, right? And then they skip on and do their thing. And you get a drink. The reason why I'm saying this is because the whole time you're sitting in that room, surrounded by people doing their thing, they're watching you. You know they're watching you. They're thinking that either this is the biggest sap in the room. How sad. Oh, by themselves. No. Oh, yeah. I'm by myself. I don't have to listen to them chatter from some dumb ass that... Why did we bring them to dinner again? You know what I mean? That kind of stuff. Trust me, being alone can be really sweet. Especially when you don't have to listen to bullshit from other people. <sighs> so when you're standing there in your awe, in your awesomeness, and when you're flirting with the waiter, waitress or waiter, and you're light and you're fluffy and you're smiling, that's not a downer. That's like, They don't come and go, look at this guy just like moping and shit. You're sitting there, wah, wah, wah. I can see that, right? Always bring attention to yourself in a positive, not a negative, right? So you're in the middle of this room, you're by yourself, you're eating alone, but you're shining. And you got the waitress or the waiter laughing and giggling. They're excited to come back to see what you're going to order, right? Maybe get a dessert. <sighs> and then you shine, baby, because everybody in that room is going to be like this person. Now, I would never eat alone. Most people wouldn't because most people aren't empresses or emperors, are they? Hey, not, it takes a lot to be the boss, baby. You got to pay the cost. You know what I'm saying? And daddy's paid the cost. And he is the boss. So I just want to let you in on that. That's just my little tips for eating out as the boss. Feel free to pick a booth. 
don't be afraid to, to, to say no to a table. If they bring you to a table and you don't like the table, you say no to the fucking table. You say, Daddy, don't want this table because you got another table. You got a booth. If they say, well, we don't have a booth available at this moment, you, what you do is you look at him and say, I will wait. Because I'm worth that fucking booth. Like I said, you don't, nobody puts baby in the corner, right? Anyway, live it, love it, learn it. Be the boss, because you are the boss. Walk it, talk it, baby. And tip well. I mean, leave that person going, damn, I hope they come back again. Right? Okay. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye. Okay,